Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just a little bit. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord together. Hallelujah. Let's magnify his name. Come on, uplift him. Come on, we're going to start out just doing the worship. Hallelujah. God, you are worthy of our praises and you're worthy of the glory. Hallelujah. Simple song that says, I love you, Lord, and I live my voice. Can you help me sing that in your house? Lift your hands and just sing. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice and I lift my voice to worship you, to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy. Take joy, my King. What you hear in what you hear, hallelujah, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Now come on, lift your voice again and say, We Come on, let's take it back again and tell the Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I live my voice. No matter how you sound, you want to do it as worship. To worship you, oh, my soul. Rejoice. Come on, somebody say, take joy. Take joy, my King. In what you hear, in what you hear, come on and sing, oh, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Now come on, lift your voice.
Lord. Oh Lord. Come now worship in your own melody. Come on, lift your voice in your own melody. Tell God how much you love him. Come on, he's already welcome. The atmosphere is already set. This is a conducive atmosphere to where you can ask anything of the Lord and he will give it to you. Come on, open your mouth and open up your lips and just begin to say, God, we exalt thee. We exalt thee above measures. We exalt thee above every situation. We exalt you above every problem, above every situation. Because it is not greater than you. Come on, stop making your problems bigger than God. Don't make the issue bigger than God. He can handle your situation. He can handle the issues of your life. He can heal the brokenness of your heart. But all you have to do is begin to exalt him. Come on, exalt him with your lips. Exalt him from your heart. Exalt him with every fragment of your being. And it is in this that God will show up and that he will show himself mighty. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. For he alone is worthy. He alone is worthy of the glory. He alone is worthy of the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy, God, and we exalt you. We exalt you, God. We exalt you. We exalt you. We make you bigger. We lift you up. Come on. You up, come on in your house. You gotta begin to lift him up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on and give him thanks. Come on and give him thanks. Come on and give him thanks. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice. You gotta tell yourself that I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah! He's worthy of the glory, he's worthy of the honor. Despite everything that's going wrong in our lives, God is still worthy. Come on, despite everything that's going wrong in our lives, He's still worthy. We still exalt you. We still magnify you because there is nobody like you. Come on, do I have a witness out there in virtual land that you can say that there's nobody like my God? Come on, there's nobody greater than God. There's nobody stronger than my God. There's nobody wiser than my God. My God is just in all of his ways. He's righteous in all of his ways. He's mighty enough to pour down every stronghold. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We are in a spirit of expectation, God. And we expect you to move on the day. We expect you to do us on the day because we exalt you. Hallelujah. We exalt you. Come on, you ought to just open your lips and just say, God, we exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. Huh? Because you alone are good. You alone are righteous. You alone are holy. And we magnify your holy name. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise right where you are. Come on and give him praise right where you are. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. He is good. He is good and he is righteous and he is holy. I want to read to you the scripture of the day or this morning if we can. Amen. It's going to come here from the book of Psalms. Um, Psalms right here in verse Psalms, Psalms chapter um, number 100. We know this Psalm is very familiar. Um, it says this, Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Hallelujah. And also it says, Know ye that the Lord is God. Hallelujah. And he, and it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah. And, and we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter, good God Almighty, that's right there. Enter into the gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. Be 
grateful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. I want to for a moment that the Lord is good. I don't care what wrong been going on. The Lord is good. Despite how people treated you, how despite how what they said about you, the Lord is still good. He's still good. He is still good. And mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. You ought to be glad about that this morning. Hallelujah. Psalm says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, for he is our Lord and he is our God. So we come to bless his holy name. Amen. Amen. We come to bless his holy name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day, God, that you have allowed us to come into. We thank you for this appointed time that you have allowed us to come together virtually, God. But nevertheless, God, we are meeting in the spiritual. And God, we thank you today God that you allowed us to wake up still in our right minds you you woke us up this morning God and we can still have the movement of our limbs we still can see smell and taste and walk and feel God we thank you God because you kept us God even when we didn't deserve to be kept you kept us God and we thank you on this day that you have made for us you kept us God in perfect peace because our minds were constantly stayed up you God we thank you God for you being our Lord our Savior our maker our creator we thank you on the morning God because truly there is none like you God and we thank you God for the move that you're getting ready to do speak to our hearts on this morning speak to our spirits on this morning speak to us God that we can change our lives and our way of thinking on today God we bless you for everything that you're getting ready to do thank you in advance for deliverance God thank you in advance for change being broken God you in advance God for souls being saved thank you in advance God for the blessings and miracles that you're getting ready to do in this place not just in this place God but at the place where they're watching God we thank you God that you are not pre uh, um, you're not you're not strained to be just in one spot God but you are everywhere God you are right there in the house with those that are watching God you are right there in the house with those that are listening oh God and we thank you God that you are God that can stretch out the eternity hallelujah you stretch yourself out through eternity God to come see about us God you came to see about us God you came to see about your sons and daughters God and we thank you on this morning God because you are good and you are our God and we reverence you because of who you are in Jesus name we pray right now God that you will touch the woman of God that's going to bring forth the word God for it is the season God for us to have a now word and we thank you right right now we thank you right now that our ears are ready God our hearts are ready to receive from you on today and we bless you hallelujah for your move and for your presence in Jesus name you are the text in the in the in the, in the text in, in the little box down there and just say amen 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 all that means is that you agree <laughs> you agree you are in agreement I ain't say nothing crazy surely you can agree with what the prayer just said amen <laughs> amen amen we are going to thank God for one more time one more time um, for what he is doing and what he is getting ready to do amen we're going to sing one more song and then we're going to get out the way so the woman of God can come in and sing uh, and preach the word of God amen hey amen, amen. come on sing with us a little bit come on anybody chasing after him Come on, just clap your hands right where you are and give him glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all might know this song. It says, Hallelujah. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do. Because I need you more and more. I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, say, cause I need you more and more. Come on, somebody sing. I'm chasing now. No matter what, no matter what I have to do, I need you more and more. Come on, somebody say, I'm chasing after you. No matter what. More and more. more and more. Come on, I wish this was shared it was here with me. Sing more and more.
praising my way through. That's what you got to do just to be closer to you, Lord. Hey, I'm chasing after you. Can you help me say that? I'm chasing after you. is worthy of our praises come on if he's been good to you tell yourself and tell somebody in your house that i want more of god i want more i want more but you have to be careful because when you ask for more more would not only bring about more of god but it'll bring some more situations in your life it'll bring about some things that you may not want to go through Amen. But I still want more. I'd rather have more with God going through my problems than to have less and more of me than, and than not have God in the midst of my problems. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, I want more. I want more. Amen. Amen. We are ready for the word of God. We pray that the atmosphere is set. Amen. For the woman of God. And she is none other than our very own elder, Glorious Harris. And receive her ye. And she comes and share and break the bread of life with us in Jesus name God bless glory be to God hallelujah come on and bless his name come on and lift up the name of the Lord come on and give him some honor glory and praise it all belongs to him amen is all belongs to him amen come on and open up your mouth hallelujah we come to bless we come to lift we come to exalt his name on today hallelujah if I got any witness on the line right now you ought to open up your mouth and give God the best praise you got hallelujah hallelujah we don't have to think that far what he's already done if we can just think about what he did just this morning he woke you up come on somebody gave you life health and strength gave you activities of your limbs you ought to bless his name this morning you ought to lift his name up good god almighty hallelujah hallelujah god we thank you on today we bless your name on today and i am excited amen of because of what the Lord is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come to put the devil under my feet.
feet. Come on, somebody. I come on his neck. Come on, somebody. I come to lift up my father, the one who got me. Amen. In spite of it all, I know that the Lord got me. In spite of what you're going through, you got to understand, even when the enemy comes in like a flood, God himself will lift up a standard. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but you ought to get excited. You ought to get excited. Ah, uh -huh. the devil is defeated and God is exalted in spite of what's going on, in spite of what you may be facing, in spite of what they're saying about you. Come on, you ought to bless the name of the Lord. The God Almighty from time. I feel the Spirit of the Lord this morning. Feel the spirit of the Lord this morning. You ought to be able to feel him this morning because he's just not moving around here. He's moving in your house too. Oh, hey, come on. We ought to bless him right now. I'm trying to take my time. I'm trying to take my time because of God. He's been so good. Do anybody got that testimony that the Lord been good? Oh, that he's been good. Come on, somebody. Do anybody else got that testimony this morning? Through hell and high water, he's been good. Through the sleepless night, he's been good. Through my body wrecked in pain, he's been good. Through the ones who left out on me, he's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Oh, he's been good. God is in control in spite of what I face in spite of what I may go through my God is in control hallelujah my God oh that's not the word for today but I'm flowing with the spirit it, it intertwines with the word that God is and still is on the throne hallelujah come on somebody I come to bless his name on today oh my god lift the name of the lord that's something about when the spirit of the living god when he is upon you come on somebody he's in my feet come on somebody he's in my hands come on somebody i feel like jeremiah it feel like fire shut up in my bones i can't maintain it nor can i contain it do i gotta witness i gotta let it out Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the name of the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord with me. Come on. Come on. I'm going to try to get in this text on today. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to get in this text on today. Hallelujah. Is however the Lord chooses to use me on today as I decrease allow his spirit to increase in me hallelujah come on let's bless the name of the I promise you I'll be before you long huh? but one thing pastor you said something and that thing resonate through my spirit huh? when God has a right now word huh? come on somebody regardless of what you study huh? but when God has a right now word huh? he mean he mean he wants you to go ahead and release that he wants you to 
anointed. Amen. So I am the messenger for today. And I'm here to encourage you on today. Hallelujah. That God sees you. And he knows you. And he knows everything that you're going through. Come on, somebody. And he has come to see about you. That's a whole saying, Pastor. He may not come when you want him. But he's right on time when, he need, when you need him. Come on, somebody. When you need him the most. He's an on-time God. How many of you know we serve an on-time God on today? Hallelujah. We serve an on time God. We serve an on time God. Come on, somebody. And I come to lift him up. I come to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I come to bless the name of the Lord. If you can, I won't be before you long. I will be um, in Genesis today. Amen. Genesis. Amen. Good God of mine. Hallelujah. I promise you I won't be before you long. Come on, somebody. I won't be before you long. If you can go to the book of Genesis with me, chapter 50. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I sit here, amen, as I stand before you, praise God. I give God honor and glory and praise for each of you on the line. Amen. I thank you right now for just trusting in God. Amen. And pastor, amen, hallelujah. But that's one thing I'm, I, I stand assured when God speaks a word, he speaks a word, amen. And when God speaks a word, come on, it, everything around you will be made free. Come on, uh-huh, because who the sun sets free is free indeed. And sometimes it can be a cliche when you hear it so much, but you got to understand God's getting ready to turn this thing around in your favor. Amen, do I got some now? You got some situations and circumstances that you're facing. Come on, somebody. And you're waiting on you something uh, on your behalf. And you're waiting for God to release that thing. Do I got any witnesses in the house on today to know that my God, come on, somebody. Your God, good God my, is getting ready to turn this thing around for you. This ain't no cliche, baby. If you just believe it on today, God is getting ready to turn this thing around for you. See, that's why I'm acting the way I'm acting right now. That's why I'm speaking the way I'm speaking right now. Because I believe and I trust God. When God dropped it in my spirit, he said, let him know that everything they've been waiting on, I've been ready to turn it around. Are you ready for God to get ready to turn it around on your He's getting ready to turn it around. He's getting ready to turn it around. He's getting ready to turn it around. It's hot over here. It's hot over here. Sister Davis, Shamika Davis, you're in my spirit right about now. And I need you to know God is getting ready to turn this thing around. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get in this text. I'm trying to get it in test, but the spirit of the living God, he's right here. Whatever you need, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking for, it's your time, it's your season. God said he's going to turn it around. Hallelujah. You shall become, it won't overtake you. Come on, somebody. It won't take you out. What the enemy meant for your bad. God said he's going to make it for your good. He's going to turn that thing around for your good. I'm already in the test. Come on, somebody. I promise you I'll get out your way soon. Hallelujah. I'm blessing the name of the Lord right now. I give him honor, I give him glory, and I give him praise, hallelujah. But that's something about when God is getting ready to move. Oh, God's getting ready to move. And matter of fact, he's already been moving, y'all. He's already been moving. I'm a witness of that. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to understand uh, that things been held up. I had posted it earlier in the week because it was in my spirit. Matter of fact, it was on yesterday. Amen. Uh-huh. With things that have been held up. Uh, and, 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 and when it's been held up, that means, y'all, you got to understand when it's held up, it's getting ready to come forth in the time and in the season that God has called.
brought it forth. Amen. Because his word returned to him. What? For it won't return to him for. Amen. It's going to do what it do and accomplish wherever he sends it. Amen. Hallelujah. So anybody who's sitting on your stuff, come on somebody. They might as well get on up. Amen. Hallelujah. They might as well get on up because guess what? That seat don't belong to them. That seat belongs to you. Huh? With your name on it. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. We come to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, hallelujah. Come on, I won't be before you, Lord. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to the flow with the spirit right now. Amen. Hallelujah. God is taking us somewhere. Hallelujah. Here I here I am. Here I am. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. And just to give you a little rundown, it's a it's a familiar text, Pastor. And it's about Joseph. And Joseph was the first son of Rachel and Jacob. Hear me now. He was the first son of Rachel and Jacob. But he was Jacob's 11th son. Y'all better hear me. So in this particular text, the text that God dropped in my spirit this morning, I'm just going to give you just an overview amen just to get you up to par of where i'm going amen and god is already moving but i'm here to tell you regardless of where you came from regardless of where you are right now regardless of who your parents are come on somebody hallelujah there's a plan that is for your life god has given a plan and a purpose for your life hallelujah how do i know this? because in jeremiah 29 and 11 god said he said for i uh-huh he said i know the thoughts and the plans amen that i think towards thee come on somebody but it, 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 it's a plan of to to um of peace and not of what evil but to give us in what an expected end hallelujah hallelujah going out come on let's bless his name so when we know that God has given us a plan for our lives, first of all, we must believe that he has given a plan for our lives. And when he has purposed us to do something or called us to do something, amen, it's up to us to receive it and run with it. Amen. Amen. So here in this particular text, Joseph, as we know, you know, um, he was sold into slavery uh, in Egypt by his brothers. Amen. As his brothers began to what envy him simply because of the dreams that God has given Joseph. Amen. Uh huh. See, 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 that's another thing. We can't always share what God is showing us or doing within us. Come on, somebody, because whom you sharing it with is not gonna always come on be happy for you. They're not gonna always want to rejoice with you. Amen. But in that, his brothers, come on, somebody, what they do? They sold him into slavery. So, I'm just going to give you a rundown what Joseph had to endure. But it was a part of the plan that God, come on somebody, already purposed for him to do, to go through in life. So, he was sold into slavery. And then he became the slave of Potiphar, a very high official. Uh-huh. See, when he got into a place, he became a slave of Potiphar, a Potiphar, a very high official. And Potiphar's wife, guess what? She wanted him. The Bible says she wanted him. Amen. And so when she wanted him, amen. And guess what? He didn't want her back. Mm -hmm. And then in other words, he turned her down. He refused her. He didn't want to go there with her. Uh-huh. If I can just keep it real. Come on, somebody. So in that, just like the enemy, when you don't give him what you want, what do we do? He will turn around and make to what? Make you out, make you seem like you just did something wrong. Come on, somebody. So then he can't see if he can't get you in that. Come on, somebody. In this particular text, she what lied on him. She lied. Uh-huh. She lied. see the enemy is always doing something seeking whom he may devour he can let you know who he lose. he just need a body uh-huh he just need a body so in this particular text he was lied on okay he was lied on first he was thrown into slavery amen sold into slavery then he was lied on come on somebody and then as the bible goes on to say that um since part of her wife she lied but still he was what thrown into jail he was in prison he was in prison so, you, this particular, 
of Joseph, a man, he, he is not knowing. Good God am I to, help me, Lord. I'm looking at and 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 everything that Joseph had to endure, it may seem like there was no plan for his life. It may seem like he was all by himself. Come on, somebody. Have you ever been there where it seemed like you could have or seemed like you was all by yourself and you don't understand, Lord, how is this going to work for my good? Do I got some witness in the house? When you believe in God and trust in God and, 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 and it's like it's hell breaking all in your life uh-huh and you just can't see the plan of god come on pastor you you can't you you don't see the plan that god has for you so in this particular text good god almighty it, just look it didn't end right then and there for him that didn't end that didn't end for him right then and there just because if the enemy seemed like he can get you in a place and you can stay bound up. Come on, somebody. But what he failed to realize who your savior is. He failed to realize who your redeemer is. He failed to realize who got you. He failed to realize who still is on the throne. The one who kicked him out. Come on, somebody who's working in you. Come on. Hallelujah. He failed to really realize that I may be in this particular state now. Because why? Weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning so I'm not going to always stay where I am. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Come on and bless his name right there. Hallelujah. Come on because there's something that God has placed in each of us. Good God Almighty. Your gift and call going to make room for itself. It's going to do what it do. I don't care what the enemy try to say. I don't I mean it like hell. I Why? Because there's a plan for your life. There's a plan that God has given you. And in this particular text, it goes on to say, right here, Joseph's ability to interpret dreams. Amen. Amen. To interpret dreams got him out of prison and to a great of favor with Pharaoh. Hmm. Yes. See, we don't even understand. So I'm, So this is, I just want to bring you an overview of what he had to go through. Come on, somebody. What he had to endure to see what God has really purposed in his life. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. So if you can just hang on to that right there. Come on. You got to understand. This man, come on. He was lied on. Uh-huh. He was thrown in a pit, thrown into slavery, thrown into jail. Come on. And the thing that got me the most... What it was done when he was thrown into what um thrown into slavery, it was done by his brother. His own brother. Come on, somebody. That's enough to hurt you right there. They always say, you know what I'm saying? I always heard coming up, uh, it's, it's almost like it'd be family is the closest thing to you that will hurt you. Ah, yeah, the closest thing to you will hurt you. But even in all of that, you got to understand that there's a purpose for your life. Come on, somebody. There's a purpose for your life. I, I don't know who you are that's out there. You may be considered the black sheep of the family. Or you may be the one that, you know, nobody want to call on and talk to. Come on. The one that nobody want to hang out with. Come on. You may be that one. Hey, man. You may be that one that they sitting there looking at your side ways regardless of what the situation is you got to understand that if God is for you then who can be against you because God is on your side come on somebody so in this particular text verse Gen Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 and this is what the Lord wanted me to tell you this morning I promise you I won't be before you long I'm almost done pastor I'm almost done and listen, after everything that he's gone through, after everything the enemy thought was held up, oh, somebody better catch that. After everything that the enemy thought was held up, huh? listen, Joseph still made it through. He endured every pain. He endured even loss. Come on, somebody. He endured things. Come on. That what came down. 
difficult for him but through it all in verse 20 Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 and it reads but as for you come on somebody you thought evil against me oh you had that evil intent against me but God meant it unto good who but God meant it unto good but God meant it unto good in other words it's working for my good if I can break it down just like that pastor and it goes on to say he said God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it this day to save much people alive if I can stop right there regardless of what the enemy try to do regardless of what may seem held up regardless of what you may be going through regardless of what you may be facing but I'm here to what the enemy meant for your good but God will turn around for your good come on and shout about it somebody what the enemy now meant for your evil God said he's gonna turn it around for your good oh my God when there's a purpose when there's a plan that is for you come on somebody oh God many have called but a few are chosen but when God has called you out and he has placed your name on her and he has placed it within you baby it's only you that can walk out this call it's only you that will be able to interpret these dreams it's only you will be able to see visions it's only you that'll be able to write songs it be only you that he will give you instructions on how to break down the word and teach the word of God that's a gift in that God has placed on the inside of you I don't care what the devil say I don't care how the devil try to sit down on it but baby what God got you it meant for you to have Hallelujah. Oh my God. I get excited, but I get angry with the devil when I sit here, Pastor, and think about all the times that I should have opened up my mouth. Oh my God. When I should have said this and when I should have said that because I was afraid of what the enemy was going to say or what they may think of me. But baby, I'm here to tell you, I'm standing flat footed and I look the devil in his face and let him know you didn't give me the plans God gave me the plan and he gave me the gift and you can't take it away I'm trying to help somebody I'm trying to help somebody here you got to understand what God has given you it's for you but it's not only for you baby you got to understand what the text read right here he said listen listen he said but as for you you thought evil against me but God meant it unto good uh, to bring to pass come on somebody as it is this day to save much people alive I don't know about you. Huh? That means what God has given us. Huh? It ain't just for us, baby. It's whomever God has assigned to your hands. Huh? Whatever it may be. Huh? When the devil thought he was shutting you down. Huh? See, he was through what we failed to realize. Huh? When the call when God has given it unto us huh? come on we don't just supposed to keep it and, and put it listen listen the Bible talks about uh, being a light come on you ain't gonna take no light and put it under the bushel come on somebody you gonna put that light so that others can see that thing come on somebody who am I talking to on today huh? come on somebody so the plan won't just for you huh? but God has used you huh? he has chosen you huh? for a time such as this huh? it's just not your life depending on it. your family life is depending on it. your children life is dependent on it your ministry come on dependent on it why because when God has called you out he called you to lead his people he called you to encourage his people he's to call you and listen to um, encourage your brothers and your sisters Good God so he they, Joseph knew then he said it's all good my brother he said it's all good he said it's all good he said, because it was all part of the plan. 
that God has already gave him a, 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 a um, glimpse of it. He gave him a glimpse of it, y'all. My God, I feel like I'm everywhere. But I'm going to tell you something. When God has, has, has shown you some things and the enemy thought he was going to keep that thing from you. But you have to, what well, Joseph did, had to continue to trust in the Lord and what God has given him or shown him. Good God Almighty. What God has already shown him, that's what he held to, y'all. That's what he held to. And he hold true to it. Come on, somebody. Why? Because he didn't give up. He didn't give up. See, it was a lot of times if I was thrown in a pit and, all, and listen, you down in that dark hole. Come on, somebody. And you all by yourself. And you wondering how you're going to get up out of this thing. See, if a lot of us, come on, somebody's in a pit right now. And everything around you seems like it's just dark. But baby, if I can just encourage you just for a brief moment to look up. Look up, baby. If I can just tell you to look up. Because when you begin to look up. Come on the Bible declares that he's the lifter of our head. So when you begin to look up. Look up to strength. Look up to your healer. Look up to your deliverer. Look up to your way maker. Look up to your promise keeper. Look up to the redeemer. Look up. Come on and look up. Even in a low place you gotta look up. Oh you can't see where you're going. Serve a king on today that says hi, but yet he looks low. Who am I talking to? Look up, look up, look up because God said he's getting ready to turn this thing around. You got to be able to look up to the hills, come off from which cometh your help, and your help cometh from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of you and I. The one who knows and sees you and know all about you. Look up! Look up. I'm almost finished. That's I'm almost finished. This is a blessing. Bless me. Because now I know. Now I know Joseph said. I can understand why the enemy fought me so hard. I can understand why the enemy desired to keep me down. I can see why the enemy desired oppression, depression, anxiety. Come on, somebody, to raise up on the inside of me. I can understand it now. Because why? Because, uh, because God has anointed me for a time such as this. Uh, and the only way I'm going to do what thus said the Lord, uh, I must be able to look up. Come on, somebody. Look up to my father, that one who knows all about me. Come on. I got to be able to see when I can't see. Come on, somebody. I got to be able to say, oh my God, I got to be able to speak the word in season, not teasing, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it may sound like to somebody else's ear. But I got to be able to continue to speak what thus said the Lord in spite of how I feel. Because I know it ain't just about me. It's about me, Pastor. And it goes on to say, I love this part. I'm finished. I'm about to be finished. To save much people alive. That was an assignment. And there was. There is an assignment on your life. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to close, Pastor. There's an assignment that is upon your life. Come on, somebody. And the enemy desires. To keep you bound. If he could allow you to stay in the pit. Come on somebody. God just gave me this right here. Y'all better hear me here. Pastor listen to this. He was thrown in the pit. Am I right about it? The Bible speaks of it. Amen. He was thrown into what? Slavery. But see he came from the pit. But still they, he had to get back up. Because when he came in the house to work for Potiphar's wife, she's wanting him, but he turned her down. But then all of a sudden, they went back and did what? Because she lied, they put him in what? A prison. 
Oh, you got to understand we got some ups and down in this walk of life. Come on, somebody. We got some up and down in this walk of life. But I'm here to tell you on today that the assignment that God has for you, it may seem like you sometimes an emotional roller coaster. You don't know if you're going or if you're coming, but you're going to hang on in there even when you don't understand what's really taking place. But even in that, even Joseph, he, he experienced some high and he experienced some low. But good God Almighty from Zion. I'm here to tell you, you're going to experience some highs and lows, but baby, your highs will outweigh your lows. How do I know this? Because Joseph didn't stay in prison. Come on, somebody. Because of one day, what God has placed in him, it decided, come on, it came forth. He um, and the dreams the Bible declares that got him out of prison. Come on, what God has given you has set you free. Good God Almighty, the gifting of God has set you free. Good God Almighty, all you gotta do is use what He already gave you. Hallelujah! If He called you to stay, maybe say, not only you be delivered, but many will be delivered. If He called you to preach, baby, open up your mouth and preach. Not only you will be God am I deliver, but the ones who hear will be delivered. Woo! Good God am I, do you understand what I'm saying? Your gift and your call will make room for itself. Whatever God has given you, baby, it's for you too.
vuelve to believe again. Just believe that your turnaround is right around the corner. You are the blessing. Uh-huh. Sister Shannon, get it ready. I don't know who else is on this line, but get it ready. Ah, it's for you too. Matter of fact, you wasn't going to tune in on today, but you saw it somewhere and you decided, come on somebody, before you recognize you was already watching because the spirit of the living God drawed you to this and he wanted me to tell you your turnaround is around the corner. Uh-huh, and is he going to make it worth your wait? It was worth the wait. Hey, somebody didn't know it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. What the enemy meant for your evil, God turned it around for your good. Uh Uh-huh. You're going to understand the sleepless nights. You're going to understand why they turned their back on you. You're going to understand why they left you. You're going to understand why you never fit in. You're going to understand why they never called on you. You're going to understand where a good God of mine. You're going to understand it now. Oh! You're going to understand why that door was closed. Uh Uh-huh. You're going to understand why you didn't get the promotion. You're going to understand. I am by. Because God said it wasn't that time right then. But now is the time. He said, I was preparing you for greater. I was preparing you for greater. You didn't see it coming, but I was preparing you for greater. And every time they hit you low, good God Almighty, what they failed to realize, when they went low, you went low too. You went low down to the Father. You begin to humble yourself. It gave you power and strength. Come on, somebody. You didn't know you had it, but God knew you had it, and he knew what it takes to get it out of you. They better watch out for you now. Uh-huh. They should have kept you bound up. They could have, they should have kept the shackles on your feet. But because you're free now, because you know who sent you, you who called you. Hey, come hell or high water, I'ma hang on in there. Come on and bless this thing. You better understand. They looking up to you now. They looking up to you now. They looking up to you now. Uh-huh. They didn't see you coming. They didn't see how God was going to rise you, raise you up. They didn't see how they were God going to allow you to be in a position. Woo! Woo! Who am I talking to? forgive them because Joseph forgave his brother he forgave them what they did he didn't allow that for unforgiveness to go with him that's why God was able to bless stop blocking your blessing stop blocking your breakthrough because that's why Joseph was able to 
that keep you down. Come on, the same ones that can't put their mouth on you. The same ones that say that you won't mount to anything are the same ones. Now they looking up at you. They didn't see you come. Joseph Brothers, come on, pastor. Didn't see him coming. They didn't see the one that they threw up in slavery. Sold it to Egypt. They didn't see it. Uh-huh. They just envy him because of a dream. A dream now. How many know everybody dream gonna come true? So listen, what are you saying, Elder? Come on. When you begin to speak a thing, the enemy get fearful. He don't know if it's gonna come to pass or not. Only you know if you stay with God. And because you chose to stay with God, the one that counted you out, the come one on. that said you can't do it, the one say that, come on, the one say you ain't good enough. Baby, look who's in charge. God raised you up. I'm finished. I'm done. I'm telling you, God is good and God is faithful. I need you to be encouraged on today. Hallelujah. God is turning that thing around for you. And I see you raising up. I see you over. With the thing that used to keep you down and bound, you have rose above that thing now, baby. You in position now that it can no longer hold you down. It can no longer overtake you because now God can raise you up. God bless you. God bless you. Be encouraged on today. I need you to be encouraged on today. I love you. I love you. I love each of you. I love God. And I promise you, whatever God has for you, it shall come to pass. But don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting. And you got to understand, if this situation keep coming at you, it's a reason why it keep coming at you. Mm-hmm. And but until you recognize your authority or who you are, it won't have no place in your life. Uh-huh. And, I, and anybody that's on the line right now, if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, Please, please get rid of it. Forgive that person. Even that situation or that circumstance or how they did you or how they treated you. Forgive them. Because I'm telling you, that's when you'll be able to release the power that they had over you and enter into the power of the almighty God. Free yourself on today. Free yourself on today. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody ought to give him praise for the word of God on today. Amen. God is good. God is good. He is worthy to be praised. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this word that you have given us on today. Thank you for this time, this moment, this movement that you have made, God. Showing us who we are. Showing us, God, uh, that what you have for us is much more greater. And, God, even when people can't see it, when they count us out, we thank you, God, that you are still in, enabled us to move forward in what you said. We thank you, God, for the promises coming to pass. We thank you for what you've spoken to our individual lives, God, coming to manifestation. And we glorify you for your goodness and for your mercy. And we just ask God that you continue to bless the woman of God as she has broken the bread of life. Restore unto her now the virtue, God, that you have sent out through your woman servant on today. We bless you for it, God. We thank you. And we rebuke the devourer. We rebuke the one who comes in to steal, kill, and destroy. That this word that was spoken will not be released and taken away. From the ones that heard it, oh God. We thank you that they're going to grab hold to it. 
and live off of it, God. We honor you and thank you on today. In Jesus' name, amen. If there's any that is unsaved who wants to be saved, we want to extend this time for you to where you can, um, you can come into the house of the Lord and become, become a part of the body of Christ. And we, we want you to be in this. We want you to be in this walk with us. And so all you have to do is go to the word of God and say, God, forgive me. For I don't know all that I've done wrong. I don't know all that I need to do. But God, I know that you are a savior. I know that you are a healer. I know that you are a redeemer. So God, I thank you for today. I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for who you are. I'm asking God that you come into my life. Be my savior. Be my Lord. Be my God. Be the one who is the Lord over my life. I believe in your son, Jesus Christ, that you have sent him to die for my sins. And I'm asking him to come into my life. If you've repeated that prayer, it's very simple. You have received salvation. That's all that you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus. And he says that salvation is yours. Get in contact with us if you were the one who, who, who accepted him on today. Get in contact with us. Amen. You can give us a call here at the church. And the number is 704-431-6206. Give us a call. Let us know what the Lord is doing in your life and what he has done. Uh, we also would like to extend and open the, the church doors. Amen. To you. We are a church that is on the move. We are a church that is uh, a Bible-believing church, a body of believers who believe that God can do the miraculous. And we believe in miracles, and we're looking for signs, miracles, and wonders to happen, not just in our lives, but in your life. So we extend to you, if you would like to be a part of the Tent of David, you could also um, inbox us on Facebook or Instagram under the Tent of David Church, or you could also give us a call as well. We bless you. We thank you for all that you have doing, have done um, and been faithful and you're attentive with us. Continue to pray for us and we'll continue to pray for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. And until next time, we love you. And may heaven continually smile upon you is our prayer. God bless you.